Hello and Grüß Gott. On this video I'm going to show you how to clean solid teak surfaces and this also works for veneered teak and this is for the regular Danish type finish which is a dull oiled finish. Now normally I just use ScanCare teak oil. You have to order this on the internet. I use this um, a couple times a year. I go over all my teak and it helps clean it and preserve the wood. But I've had this piece for about 25 years now and once in a while you have to go and do a little deeper clean. So to do it, I'm going to have the following items available. Some uh, turpentine, some gloves, some beeswax, and that's actually for the drawer slides. This has real wood slides on the drawers, not ball bearings. So you beeswax them. Some quadrupelot steel wool, some tack cloth, and various cloths to wipe everything off and to put down along the base as you're cleaning. So the first thing I'm going to do is ventilate the area very, very well because turpentine's, turpentine is not only flammable, but it's very odoriferous. It smells awful. Um, so I want to ventilate the area real well. And then I will start by putting turpentine on quadruple hot steel wool and cleaning everything. But before I get that started, I'm going to take all the objects off of here, wipe it down with it. Uh, slightly dampened cloth to get any dirt, dirt or dust off and then I'll be able to start with the quadruple lot steel wool and turpentine. So I'll be right back to show you that. Okay to uh, start the cleaning you put a little bit of turpentine onto some steel wool and you have a cloth ready at the same time and that's because this will tend to flow over the side. So you want to go with the grain and just go lightly. You're not going to rub real hard and all we're doing is removing things like pollen and dust and stuff that's accumulated on the teak. And we're not trying to take any finish off or anything. We're just trying to clean that top surface. So you're going to go like that. And you can see it's got a lot of black on it. Um, I had this furniture up in Massachusetts. A lot of pollen is embedded in the wood. So I'm going to do that for the whole thing and then I'll show you how to do the furniture slides after that. So I'll be right back. At this point I finished using the steel wool and turpentine to clean all the surfaces and I wiped everything down. Now I'm going to go over them one last time with a clean dry cloth followed by a tack cloth and the tack cloth is to get rid of any iron filings from the uh, steel wool. And then before I put the drawers back in I'm going to take this beeswax here and go over the drawer sliders real well with beeswax so the sliders uh, so the drawers slide in and out real easily. So I'll do that and then I'll show you how we're going to finish up the project. So I'll be right back. Okay at this point I'm ready to start using the teak oil. I'm using the ScanCare teak oil that comes from Denmark. It's really a great product. Um, I used to use some other products but almost all of them you can't get any more because I guess nobody likes teak furniture like I do. So you just can't get the care products anymore. So put on a generous amount and you're going to let it soak in. And then we're going to wipe it off and then I'll show you what it looks like after everything is all finished. So I shall be back in just a short while. Okay, I finished um, letting the oil soak in and wiping it down with a clean cloth. So this is my ML280 long side board. And I'll show you two other sideboards I did today. And here is my ML284 short sideboard. It came out really nice as well. And I got one more to show you. The last one I finished was my ML508. So that's about it. So good quality furniture lasts forever. Especially Michael Larson. As you can probably tell, I love teak. And I love Larson furniture. So until next time, be careful, be safe. And choose.